A couple of square root concepts that might be a bit challenging to understand. First one, square root of x is equal to negative 2. This, there is no solution for this. You're probably wondering why. Why can't I get a solution for this? Well, think about it. This means that a number, it means two of these numbers multiplied gives this. So x would have to be 4, right? Because the square root of 4 would theoretically give minus 2. But no, that cannot happen. Because it's just two numbers that multiply to give the number 4. That's going to be 2 times 2. Or it could be negative 2 times negative 2. Because the, the definition of a square root is two numbers, two identical numbers that multiply to give the number under the square root, right? So it's either 2 times 2 or negative 2 times negative 2. No, there is no way for you to get negative 2 as your answer by multiplying two numbers. Because if you multiply two negatives, you always get a positive. And if you multiply two positive, it'll also give you a positive. If you multiply a positive and a negative, that will give you a negative, but that's not squaring because squaring is multiplying the identical numbers. These aren't identical numbers, are they? So there's no solution that gives an output of a negative number. Root of x is 4. What would x be? x is just 4 squared. 4 squared is x because it's two numbers that multiplied and that made uh, two numbers that multiplied to make x is 4, right? So it's just 2 of 4, so 16. x squared is 16. That means two numbers multiplied, by toge multiplied together is 16. That's basically saying the root of 16, two numbers that multiply to make 16. That'll be plus and minus 4, because they're both numbers that multiply by each other. So 4 times 4 makes 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 makes 16. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this one on some concepts that might be confusing about square roots and why the output of a square root can never be a negative.